Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons? The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, a potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces Confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout, missing super soldiers, and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. Entry point, uh, <clears throat> located. We cleared a pr Copy that. Falcon is obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss the chopper attack. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensors? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. Organic? What exactly does this mean, then? It means we have a good opener when we find the guy in charge. I'm ready if y'all are. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out. Riser to HQ, do you copy? Little update, the lieutenant turned into some kind of monster. We're here, Major. Sounds like Red Falcon is using biological weapons technology. On the positive side, we located their data hub, and Lance is hacking it now. That's generous phrasing. If anyone at HQ has suggestions, I'm not above asking for help. Looks like you're in. We'll begin analyzing the data. There's another facility north of your current location, just past the local village. This data suggests it's a laboratory. Our best shot at information regarding those gravity waves. Village? Can't still be civilians there, right? Officially, they evacuated after the meteor shower, but... We already know that report is less than accurate. Don't love the sound of this. Heads up. I'm accessing security footage of an unknown operative. You boys aren't alone. We'll be careful. Regardless, we'll head for that village and let you know if we find anything out of the ordinary. 
What the hell was that? A creature from beyond the stars. I tried to warn you. Hey, you're the kid from before. What are you doing here all alone? I am Ariana. My people protected this island for thousands of years. After the meteors fell, the village was attacked. I've assumed my tribe's sacred mission. Then that man, Varanis. Not a man, but yes. He is a being from another world who arrived that night. He controls the Red Falcon soldiers, as if they'd lost wills of their own. You catching all this, Doyle? I am indeed. Commander, this is the situation we were afraid of. I'll continue my investigation in the field. Understood, Lucia. Try to link up with our Contras once you arrive. Where's Varanis now? He was too fast. I lost him in the climb. That big ugly monster came out of there. No telling what else is going on. Riser is correct. For the time being, your mission is unchanged. See if there's any leads on gravity weapons in the lab. I'm coming with you. you sure, kid? It's gonna get gnarly in there. It's not any safer out here. I don't think we have a choice. But don't let her out of your sight. Sheesh. Ray graduates academy and you're already adopting another one, huh? Relax, Pops. This isn't Uncle Bill's first rodeo. There's no time to waste. You heard the kid. <sighs> Sorry if I'm late. Impressive work, though. Commander Doyle, I've accessed the Red Falcon system. You ready, Daniel? Opening a transfer into the Federation's network... now. I hear you. Running analysis. Seems promising. Data regarding an object with massive energy readings. This could be the X-Type artifact. We hypothesized it could be somewhere on the island. Meaning, the gravity anomaly was no weapon at all. Lucia, you must locate the X-Type artifact. I'm well aware of the implications. Hey, X-Flow. Care to share with the rest of the class? What's an X-Type artifact? Our data indicates it's an extraterrestrial object brought to Earth thousands of years ago. There's a lot we don't know, but it definitely houses an incredible amount of energy. Enough to cause those readings. If it's on Galuga, it's likely what Varanis is after. Ariana, does this look familiar to you? That is the Lemris. What my people call the Seed of the Gods. It's why we must defend the island. It's sealed in a sacred temple deep in the mountains. Only a few of my tribe are able to open the gate. But after my village was attacked, they're gone. The Lemris cannot be reached. We need to at least try, before Varanis finds a way in. Even with Ariana's help, crossing that mountain range on foot would take days. Come in. Do you copy? Damn it, Razor, where are you? We copy, Stanley, but we're a little busy at the moment. I found the GX army. We've been fighting monsters. I could really use some extra firepower. Monsters? Yeah. Turns out Galuga has a real alien problem. My men collapsed. Like they've been shut off. Falcons loaded them onto a train and are transporting them into the mountains. What the hell? So, you guys up for a rescue mission? Train, huh? Sounds like we found our ride. Sending our coordinates. You saw the readings, gentlemen. 
We now know without a doubt that we are under threat of an alien invasion. Does this warrant reopening the G initiative? This scenario is the reason the protocols exist. I'm afraid the underlying technology still eludes us. In early trials, that is. We'll need Henriksen's finest minds dedicated to the project. Yes, of course. Hmm. Nice of you to join us. I'm not gonna get taken out by some stupid insect. This is the temple your tribe was protecting? For thousands of years, only chosen warriors from our tribe were able to pass through this gate. It's still closed. That means we got here before Varanus. We should get inside then. Wait! Only those chosen by Lemris can unseal the gate. True warriors who would stand against great darkness. Anyone else? Huh. <sighs> that was close. If this Lemris artifact really is inside, we need to secure it. True warriors chosen by Lemris. All right, Contras. Care to test a theory? This is our cue, huh? Hey, Lemris. Open up. That actually worked? Theory my ass. How much does x -Flow actually know? Afraid that's top secret. For now, Varanus cannot reach the Lemris. Incredible. Varanus disappeared with the Lemris. No way he's waiting around for us. He's taking that ball and going home. Ariana, any idea where his base of operations is? No. Commander Doyle, do you copy? We could use satellite support. We're too far underground. Hang on. This giant space robot burrowed its way into the temple from somewhere. We can follow the tunnel! But it leads right to his doorstep. Looks like break time's over. I knew you'd pull through. Climb inside. Let's get out of here. Commencing return flight. Hold on. Lucia's still out there. Lucia, what's your status? Come in, damn it! Bad news. Varanus's device is spiraling out of control. If things continue, all the energy drained from Lemris will be released. God damn it! This is the wormhole generator function. If I activate it... Yes, Lucia. Enough energy remains in the Lemris to generate a portal to another world. If I pull this off, I can redirect the dangerous energy into space. You must already know this, but when the wormhole opens, you will also. There's no other choice, Beowulf. This is the logical conclusion. Wait, don't! Well done, everyone. That is mission complete. You have successfully defeated the spearhead invasion forces of the Zagar Empire. Another global catastrophe has been avoided. Commander Ironside, we're grateful for your assistance. I'm told a new unit is being formed following the loss of the GX Army. You've been called upon to lead it. That is much appreciated, sir. I assure you the force will surpass Contra before you know it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. The Federation is also gathering a relief team. As soon as the area is safe, they'll begin reconstructing Galuga's ecosystems. I will return as well. 
I must locate the Lemris and return it to the temple. My mission is not over. Perhaps I will find Lucia as well. I'm sorry to say, her status remains unconfirmed. Nothing conclusive from our satellites yet, but the wormhole left behind a lot of distortion. Lucia's not dead. No way. Lucia's always got a backup plan. She'll find a way home. 